Hi, Sue Wilson here with another episode of Crafting My Style. I've got a very elegant and simple card for a special friend. Let me show you which dies we're using today. Out of the Spanish collection, I have the Cordoba, which is beautifully elegant, and we're going to just show you how beautiful that is once it's cut and inked. And we're using the decorative frames from our California collection. This is set B. Now, to get started, we're going to use the very center of this die, which is the um, elegant uh, middle part. It doesn't have a cutting edge, so we're going to put it onto our white cardstock and tape it into place with the removable tape. And let's just see if we can get it nice and centered. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to tape the inside of that there and right there, and let's cut that. Bring in my cutting plate, cover it with my base plate, run it through our grand caliber. I've got all my cutting finished there, and let's emboss that to really bring out the beauty. Cover it with my tan mat and the pink plate. And run it back through. So I'm just going to remove the tape and leave the die in place and we'll do some inking. Get this side, get underneath that. There we go. Now to do the inking, I'm going to be using the Adirondack Aqua Color. It's a dye-based ink and a piece of cut and dry foam. And we're just gonna lightly start inking this through the dye. It's a very soft pastel color. And I'll keep turning this so you can see it a little bit. And I want to go around the edge and actually have it kind of come off around the outside of that frame too. It's nice when you're working with some of the lighter colors. You can be a little heavy handed and it doesn't actually show too badly. So if you want it to um, really show up, you might have to do several coats around it. Just a light circular motion. And I'm just working it around the edge, picking up some of this color. That should do the job. So let's take that out of the die now. So I'm just going to give it a little peel away here. Oops. You can see the reveal. Isn't that beautiful? Such a pretty delicate looking die. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this onto a piece of aqua color card that I've put some mounting foam on already. And it'll just show through it nicely. There we go. And I apologize again, I'm going to lean over so I get a nice little edge around it. I think that should work nicely. So you can see that coming through. You got your nice pretty white and then the aqua behind that. Now I'm going to put a black layer to really pop that out. And I've done a little bit of piercing on it, but I'm going to finish it off. So what I've done is I've done one side here, long and short, and then I'm going to do the other two. So I'll show you how I turn the corner. Now I line up the edge of the ruler with the edge of the cardstock, work two holes in, and put a pin to hold it into place. And then with the uh, pokey tool, we're just going to go along and poke through all of these holes. And you need a firm mat, so you have something for your pokey tool to, to go into. Um, I don't recommend using things like mouse pads or styrofoam. There's a lot of people that ask me this question all the time, and if you just find one of these firm, firm mats, and it's just like a, um, 
it's like a, a solid foam, and it's about a half inch thick. Um, then you can poke right into that. And then when I get close to the end, I move that one out of my way so I can continue across. And you can feel when you get to that last one where your pin was because there's not as much resistance. Then take your card, turn it, and your last two, um, your last edge, you'll have the two holes that you started with and ended with. And then we'll just pop that back into place and this one back into place and pierce across that. And just work one hole down each time. If you've missed a hole, you'll tell when you pull your ruler away and you can go back and add that in if you need to. Let me move that one out of my way. And I always keep my hand on the ruler to steady it as well. There we go. So now you've got a really pretty pierced edge. Isn't that nice? I just think that gives it such a beautiful frame. So I'm going to go ahead and put this piece onto the back of my card. And then we'll cut our sentiment and put that all together. I think I'll just use a little Cosmic Shimmer glue. Add that on here. There we go. And I've put an aqua mat down, so we'll try and center it on that. There we go. Sometimes the layers on a card just bring it to life, I think. And since I've already got this piece ready to go, I'll go ahead and put that on. I've got some backing uh, mounting foam on the back. Peel off the backing paper. And I'll pop that right in the center of all those pierced holes. So on this one, I've actually done a double piercing. I've got a piercing in the black and a piercing in the white. So I think it's really pretty that way. Now, to finish this off, we're just going to do the sentiment. And I'm going to cut this with one of the decorative frames from the California collection. And I'm going to tape it into place. It's a big, bold sentiment from the Bold Sentiment set by Creative Expressions. Center that around there. And let's bring our cutting plate back in and run it through the machine. That's cut beautifully. So I'm going to just remove the tape edge there. Take it out and we'll do some inking on that one as well with the aqua. So it matches very nicely. Picking up that inside edge. This is a really, really pretty color, I have to admit. There we go. Remove that one. And let's just add a little bit of mounting foam right there. And we can finish this off. Now, the only other thing I would do with this card is I would add some pearls. So I think in the corners is the perfect location for this. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue to help hold them into place. I've got some five millimeter pearls. Let's just pop those down. Oop. Oh, stunning. So simple, so easy, and I think any friend would love to receive a card like this. I do hope you've enjoyed this.